Hello everyone, this is Matt from God's Vods, and in this video I'm going to show you a tour of this little Dwemer settlement. This is a mod that you have to download and it is on PC, I don't know if it's on consoles or not yet. And it doesn't come like this, it's like her fire, you have to build it using these workbenches and stuff. But you can get all the resources just by pressing one button, which I'll show you a little bit later on. But first I'll show you around a little bit. You can build a stables and buy a horse called Anubis. You can of course buy them chickens, they're obviously helpful. You get your own guards, they're called Silverstead guards, and you can actually customise them. If you get them to follow you, you can give them any armour you want, Daedric armour or anything. A little smithing shop there, there's just people in there where you can trade with. Another blacksmith. Blacksmith there and more people in there to trade with. There's stalls that normally have traders. And I'll show you this, the followers barracks, a place to put all of your followers if you want. To hold all of them in one place, little fountains at the sides, little bar there, and all these rooms is pretty much just loads of beds. So that's pretty much all this is. Let me show you the little bedrooms. Just to put all your little followers in. I know I'm being blocked. Get out of my way. There we go. Well, I'll show you the place where you live, the Silverstead Manor. That's probably the best place. You just have to go around here. Let's cheat a little bit. Up these stairs. And these archways, you have to build all of them, and I think too, that comes with the workbench. That's the guard barracks just there, I'll show you that first. Little farm bit where you can plant flowers. I don't have any though. Alright, guard barracks. Another Silverstead guard. Go away. You have to hire them, but all you do is go to the workbench and it, there's an option to hire them there. Just beds for them. Don't know who that is. Oh, Silver Stead Guard. And there's more downstairs. There's a little like, archery range and stuff, which of course you can use if you really want to. Another blacksmithing thing. You can open that. There's smaller targets. Little diagrams. For steel longsword. Right, now let's go show you the place where you will live. If I can find a way out. Here we go, Skyrim. Right, Silver said Manor is just around here. And them guards will, will of course, just act like normal guards. And their default armour is the Markarth uh, guard armour. And they have silver swords to start off with. A little drop off chest there. Right, and this is the place where you will be living. Wait for it to load. Right here we are, fountain to the sides. There's multiple workbenches in here. Another bar thing there, a little table, and you can display all your black books there. And there's loads of bookshelves, and you can put books on here, but I don't actually have any books. Little things there, little map there. And this is like a thief skilled thing. All the things that you get in the thief skilled will show here. Now round here, little bedroom for children if you want to adopt any for any reason. I never do. And more stuff there, just like the storage stuff. This is the master bedroom, place where you'll be sleeping. Little nice view here. And there is a teleport spell that you can use just to teleport straight here. But of course you can just quick travel, so it's up to you. Place to put some amulets. And there's a little secret passage here if you open this wardrobe. And open that. Ooh, follower pushing me. Just loads of place to store or put armour. And little Elder Scrolls to put there. Or little claws. And there are the Dragon Priest masks, but I don't currently have them with me. Uh, more stuff over here. Merrin's Razor. Black Star, which I do have. And that's part of it, I'll show you the rest now. Uh, all the little shrines here that you can use. There's something very nice about this house. All the standing stones are right here and you can activate them and use them if you want to. So it saves you having to find all of them. Now there is the basement there, but first... Oh, let's go there first. And then I'll show you the balcony. 
In the basement there is also an armory down here. It's just through there, which I'll show you in a second. Little room here to store some armor. Boots, helmet, gauntlets and stuff. Thought he was going to block me then. Another forge. Don't, don't know why we need that many forges, but oh well. And if you use this, you can make exploding spiders, which is part of the Dragonborn DLC. And through here is a rather big armory where you can display loads of stuff. Little water bit in the middle, loads of display cases, and of course it all comes empty for you to all build in. Weapon racks and everything, it's just the same on the other side. Let's go through this door, follow us back. And some parts of this do lead to other parts of the settlement, like this leads to the followers barracks, just here. So go back and show you the balcony of the house now. You quickly run to it. Have to run back through the uh, armory. Go through here. You get a nice little view out here though. There you go, here's the balcony of your little house. Well, quite a big house. Some more flowers there. See Markov. Nearly jump down and die. Of course, another bit to see out of here. See our little settlement. And I think that's pretty much everything in this settlement. It does cost uh, 2,000 gold to buy. And if you do want to use it, then I'll leave a description or a link to the mod in the description. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone, and if you enjoyed then subscribe to us for more, because we'll be doing more videos like this. Thanks for watching.